Hey guys, welcome back to Etc. and today we have another Star Wars build tutorial. This time it's the Sheath of Peach from the Clone Wars or Revenge of the Sith, but this one specifically from the Clone Wars because it has the blue Separatist markings and the uh, turrets. Uh, this is a very simple design uh, compared to some of my other ships. Uh, this one's very easy to build, very small, compact, and it's a very notable ship from the prequel era. And uh, the materials that you will need to build this ship will be not too many, surprisingly. Light gray concrete, gray concrete, blue concrete, white concrete, some iron bars, and gray stained glass. And yeah, that's about it. Let's get into it. Also, on a side note, uh, we got two requests in the helicarrier video uh, for the Jedi Temple and the Hulk Buster, and we're working on those. Those will be coming up uh, soon. How soon? I don't know, but uh, sneak peek, Jedi Temple right there. But yeah, let's get into it. So. To start off with the front, we'll be basically making this U shape, like so. Yep. And then U shape. Wait a minute. That's not correct. U shape. Uh. Wait. Ah, uh, I see. And then... Just like so. And then so. And you're gonna want to extend this outwards a uh, couple blocks. Like 20-ish. And 20-ish as well if I can maths and then basically just do the same thing on the opposite side or well on the back side I guess it's not really the opposite side it's just the back side so yeah just like so and then that's the main framework of the sheath of Pete. and Basically make, after that, make this arch with the white concrete. And this is basically going to be the framework for the, uh, what's it called? Uh, cockpit. Because, like, it has this weird cockpit shape. To me, it's always looked like, say, a, I don't know, a bug of some sort. And basically, that's how it's going to look like almost the head of a beetle. I've always thought it looks like, say, a beetle. And that's what the cockpit looks like, the head of it. Because it has those legs as landing gear, and I've never liked it too much. But yeah, so the cockpit just like so. And then to get the main framework of the body, or the underside, I guess will be here and then you'll want to go all the way down all the way down to the white concrete and then once more outwards because it has like a semi steep slope I guess no, it has a semi-shallow slope. Steep is when it's like super going down. And then after that, do it once more, but diagonally downwards. Actually, no, this is supposed to be two down, while this will be down, and then this will be three down. Like so. Yes, like so. 
So after that, you're gonna want to mirror it on the other side, uh, right here, and bring that all the way down. Do the same thing here. Uh, same thing here. I said the same thing here. Bring that downwards. And then the same thing as wait a minute. What what's what's different here? Oh, I see. Uh this is supposed to be right here. Or not right here, I should say. It's supposed to be one more over as this goes here and down once more. Or twice more? I don't know. Uh, take this out, that was a mistake. And bring this down one more time. Chop this part off. Uh, but bring this down one more time, and then there you go. So that's going to be like the base, I guess. And then you can fill this part in with the gray, light gray. I've been using a lot of light gray. If you if you want to build any Star Wars ship, you're going to need a ridiculous dye farm for like just gray dyes. Which is... I'm not sure which flower gives off light gray dyes, but... Uh, the fin is what's going to be next, and probably going to want to extend this out two more blocks. And if you saw my Mantis video, uh, it's basically the exact same thing, but smaller and angling the other way. So you want to go up four blocks, and then side, and then up four blocks, and then side, and then up four blocks. One... One, two, three, four. Uh, I say four blocks, not including the first one that you go to the side. Because it's technically five blocks in total. But I like to think of it as four, I guess. I'm ju That's just how my brain works. But, and then here, uh, go to the side up like ten-ish. One, two, three, ten-ish. I cannot build my same ship twice and go diagonal and then just bring this to the top. Not completely to the top, but uh, and then boom. Wait. Oh, I never went diagonal with this. See? That's a mistake that will not be too great. Because if you're not in creative, it kind of sucks. Well, doing this in not creative, aka survival, uh, basically just sucks generally. Because it's like, you know, resource gathering. And then fill in the sides with your light gray. Ray. And don't fill in the further protrusion, I guess is what you can call it, because uh, that's just meant to be like the front part, I guess. If you see a picture, it only angles the front part, not the rest of the fin. I mean, that's what it looks like to me, not the rest. And after that, uh, you're gonna want to do, as you see here, uh, fill in both sides on either side, like so, to make it, give it some volume or definition so it doesn't look like a piece of slice. That, that was a really bad example. A piece of paper, that's a better example. A piece of, that was dumb. 
because when it's one block thin, it looks really flimsy. So, yeah, give it some volume definition. And then, basically, fill in the sides here. And here. If you're not a fan of uh, this whole gray scheme, I guess, as you can call it, uh, then you shouldn't be building Star Wars ships. Because it does look extremely bland, and then when you add highlights, it gives it some color, but it's still pretty bland. But that's how Star Wars ships just kind of are. I mean, you don't want to be giving your, uh, what's it called? position to the enemy you, you, you kind of just don't want to do that and then fill this in and yes after that you're going to want to size it up I guess looks pretty good but after that I'm gonna go on here on the right side and then basically punch it up punch it up punch it out go diagonal and then diagonal once more and then here you're gonna want to make it too wide not that too wide <laughs> too wide and then basically fill that with your blue concrete the separatist color So just like so, so, and then do the same thing on the other side, because this is kind of like the design that the fin has. Ah, no, that's supposed to be there. And then bring this downwards and try not to punch out the other side. And bring this downwards, and yes. So this is the more prominent design. There is a secondary design that goes, like, diagonal. Um, to a certain extent, like, above this. But there's not really enough space on the fin to make it look decent. So, I attempted it on the one over... Uh, my prototype as I like to call it and it didn't look quite right because it was like barely touching the this design so I didn't like it too much and kind of just I'm not gonna do it on this one uh, what you could also do is in the center here do blue concrete it gives it some like actual color but yeah it it's not exact but it looks better I guess and then up here you're going to want to extend this and uh, I guess the turret and put some iron bars because it serves as the turret try and line it up and yeah this looks really wonky but it, that's how it is it has that mega fin on top it may seem a little tall but it probably is a little tall but uh one thing that you want to do next is either blue or white concrete white gives it some more like i don't know contrast is what the word is uh with the black uh not black gray concrete but basically make a little bit of an arch basically a smaller version of that one over there uh on the back of the fin here just like so and then use your gray concrete and then make that a wee bit bigger because in the center section it has this i don't know ridge is what i'm gonna call it of gray concrete it's a bit darker than the rest of the body of the shuttle and yeah after that, or once you get done with that, extend 
the blocks out here. Blocks out here. Uh, put, say, two there. Or, actually, no. And then there. A little piece of iron bar as a turret, because it kind of has that on the side. Has that on the side. And then, same thing over here, but I'm not going to do it for the sake of time. After that, uh, you're going to want to fill in the cockpit, because you kind of need somewhere to, like, drive the shuttle and stand and, you know, operate it. Pretty self-explanatory. But, do that, and then give it somewhat of a floor. You can always make an entrance at the back, like it has, say, in the Clone Wars, or in the whole franchise where you can enter the shuttle, but right now I don't have that because I kind of suck at interior designing and it's really hard to give anything any sort of detail, especially Star Wars futuristic detail in Minecraft, because like to make, say, those charging ports for the droids, it's like, uh, really challenging. But yeah, after that, like, ooh, that does not look too... Uh, good. Extend this out a bit, and then make it look like it's somewhat supporting the top here. And then, yeah, you're done. That's the sheathapede. It's a pretty bland design. Oh, you know what I forgot? Uh, was to extend this out with the light gray. But, uh, for the sake, or, you know what? We can do it here. And you would want to extend that out one more block and then put blue highlights here, here, and here. Or actually here, here, here. And light gray. No. No. Light gray. That's why it looks very bland. I thought the blue highlights this whole thing looks very monochrome. But yeah, that's the sheathapede. And it's pretty simple to build. It's a lot simpler than many of the other Star Wars ships that I have built in the past, in my opinion. And yeah, hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, Star Wars build tutorial. Uh, if you liked it, if you found this video helpful, uh, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below which Star Wars ship or even Marvel ship you would like to see next. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.